Hey team, it's Daniel again with Brasses Valley Boars and Varmints. So if you remember last week, I made a video explaining how using a drone to hunt hogs at night here in Texas is illegal. I also went on to explain that the easiest way to get that rule changed is through a process called a rule review done by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department Commission meeting, which just finished this week, and we got good news but we're not out of the woodwork yet. Let's talk about it. All right guys, so if you remember from last week's video, I also brought up that I did not see anywhere where drones were gonna be listed as a talking point during this upcoming meeting. Well, the morning of the first day of the meeting, I found a spot where it said that this was going to be included. It was going to be docket item number six. And I actually got audio of the presentation that was given. So I'm going to play that right now. Work session item number six, aerial wildlife management. Speaking of technology, aerial wildlife management management permit rules request permission to publish proposed changes in the texas register stormy how are you <clears throat> doing well good morning chairman and commissioners for the record i'm stormy king assistant commander of wildlife enforcement for the law enforcement division i'm here today on behalf of staff to request permission to publish proposed changes to regulations related to aerial wildlife management permits In recent years, the expanded availability to the general public of unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly called drones or UAVs, has led to an increased occurrence of their use to conduct activities associated with aerial wildlife management permits issued by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Due partially to the recency, <coughs> excuse me, of the explosion in drone use, federal and state laws, particularly in regard to wildlife, in many cases make no distinction between drones and manned aircraft. Along with the popularity of drones, there has also been an increase in availability and affordability of thermal imaging equipment. These cameras are very effective in locating wildlife and other heat sources for various purposes. The combination of the drone with this thermal imagery can be very effective specifically in the management of feral hogs. However, Current regulations prohibit permitted activity involving take from occurring at night. Recognizing the utility of the platform and the absence of an associated resource or safety concern, staff proposed changes to the regulations that would allow the use of drones to locate feral hogs to facilitate take by gunners on the ground to occur at night under the provisions of the Aerial Wildlife Management Permit. These amendments would also clarify that the drone operator must be in possession of the permit while conducting permitted activity. And with that, staff requests permission to publish proposed changes to the Texas Register, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Commissioner uh, Vice Chairman Scott has a question. <coughs> yeah, Stormy, I think you're sounding like you, you're having as much fun with this dust and everything as I have. Every day <laughs> till about noon. <laughs> I'm with For 30 you. years. <laughs> uh, you made a comment about that the person operating this has to have a permit? Yes, sir. So who, where do they get this permit? From you? The, the, that's thrown in at the end, basically, uh, Vice Chairman, as, as kind of a clarification. Currently, under the current regulations, a person piloting an aircraft is required to have the copy of their aerial, aerial wildlife management permit in the aircraft. Obviously, you're not gonna have the permit in a drone. So that was more of a cleanup than anything. We're gonna put a provision in there that will just say the pilot has to have it in their possession instead of it being in the aircraft. Okay, thank you. So I, I was not aware, in order to, well, you can hunt hogs at night, right, without a permit, correct? Not with an aircraft. <laughs> Not with an aircraft, right. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> and so this, new, this is a new permitting process wherein, if, or has it existed before? To use aircraft for that purpose currently requires, based on our 
under our permit provisions to comply with federal requirements under the Federal Airborne Hunting Act. Basically what we're doing, this, you know, these rules, much like a lot of things related to drones, were all written years ago before drones were a thing. And so our current regulations, when they were written, we're talking about helicopters mostly. So under our state regs, it's illegal to conduct take activity under our area wildlife management permit between 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise. We're strictly trying to allow this, allow folks to be able to, you know, use these drones for a good purpose, and it requires a rule change for it to technically be legal. But effectively, you're just spotting the, the pigs with the drones and then you're shooting them on the ground. You're not? Correct. Okay. Yes. And all right, the previous permit <laughs> contemplated that you would be shooting hogs out of a helicopter at night, I assume, right? Correct. So, okay. But this is, uh, all right, this is up for uh, recommendation. This Permission is not, to publish, yes, sir. Understood. Okay, thanks. Commissioner Abel. Uh, Stormy, remind me, where are we today as far as, like, during daylight hours? Is, is it legal to use a drone to spot feral hogs with, or where is the line between, I remember we've talked about animal harassment to versus be in compliance you're watching. With, yes, sir, to be in compliance with federal law, it, it is legal, but it requires that you be acting under a permit issued by a state. So agency. you would still have to have a permit during the day yes, just sir. to go up and, and look at them? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other commissioners? Uh, so, Stormy, once again, I understand you're suggesting that we authorize to publish the proposed changes in the Texas Register. So, uh, I'll authorize to do that, and then we'll uh, get back together after we get the comments from the Texas Register. Thank you, Stormy. I'm happy to follow up if any of y'all have a question. Thank you. All right, guys. So, that was actually exactly what I was hoping would happen. But let's go through the text of this. So, on the Texas Department of Parks and Wildlife, Texas.gov website, you can find work session item number six was presented by Stormy King. And in the executive summary of this, it says that the staff is requesting permission to publish proposed amendments. Now, again, guys, this is a proposed amendment. This has not been actually voted on, and we're going to come back to that later. So the proposed amendments to rules governing the management of wildlife and exotic species from aircraft. The proposed amendments would create a definition for unmanned aerial vehicles, otherwise known as drones, and provide for their use at night for the sole purposes of locating feral hogs for purposes of lethal control by shooters on the ground. Great, that's what we're asking for. Part number two is a discussion where it talks about how under federal law, commonly referred to as the Airborne Hunting Act, it is unlawful to shoot or attempt to shoot or intentionally harass any bird, fish, or other animal from aircraft except for certain specified reasons, including protection of wildlife, livestock, and human health, except as may be provided by the state law pursuant to the federal authority. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department Code Chapter 43, Subchapter G, is the statutory authority for regulating airborne wildlife management in Texas. Under Texas Parks and Wildlife Code Section 43.109, the, the Parks and Wildlife Commission is authorized to promulgate regulations governing the management of wildlife by use of aircraft. So guys, again, remember the Federal Airborne Hunting Act says that all of this is illegal unless you have a permit granted by the state, and that permit has to be because of one of these reasons. Again, you can do that here in Texas, but when people talk about, oh man, we don't even, I wish the whole permitting process would go away. I do too, but that's federal law. So Texas can't really affect that part of it. But let's go on. The recent advent and popularity of drones has resulted in a number of inquiries to Texas Parks and Wildlife Department regarding their use at night, particularly to aid in location of feral hogs for purposes of lethal control. Current rules prohibit the take of wildlife or exotic animals, including members of the swine family, such as feral hogs, from aircraft at night, defined as the hours between one half hour after sunrise and one hour before sunrise. So guys, again, the exact opposite of game hunting hours. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department wishes to clarify that although wildlife and exotic animals may not be taken by means of drones at any time, 
it is lawful to use drones fo solely for the purposes of locating feral hogs, including at night. Attachment 1 is going to be the actual rule changes. Now, it does have to go through some introductory stuff. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department proposes amendments specifically to this got re concerning now it does have to go through some introductory stuff talking about exactly what it's wanting to change but then the next paragraph talks about the proposed amendments would clarify that it is lawful to use unmanned aerial vehicles uavs or drones at night to locate feral hogs for purposes of lethal control but let's jump down and look at the actual text for the proposed amendments and the way that they are written. And this is going to be in the Parks and Wildlife Code, Chapter 43, Subchapter G, 65.151, the definitions. And this is going to say that a gunner is not only defined as the previous wording of A, but also going to include the new text, B. A gunner will be any person who participates in the capture take shooting or attempted capture take or shooting of feral hogs as a result of a use of drone to locate feral hogs for purposes of eventual take or capture so it's just adding in what a gunner is it's also going to in um, add 13 unmanned aerial vehicle uav or drone is going to be further clarified that this is an aircraft that is remotely controlled again remotely Right, so this is not helicopters. So remotely controlled or flown by an operator who is not physically present in the aircraft while it is flying. General rules 65.152. This is where I was concerned about the rules previously. This is where the actual rule is that gets us in trouble. And if you remember from earlier, it was under D where it talks about the shooting hours that were allowable or actually not allowable. And that was going to be subline 7. And it has no change to that. So this had me a little bit worried at first, but let's keep going. Because it is going to add a new line, line E, saying it is lawful for a pilot operating under a valid aerial management permit or an aerial management permit holder to use a unmanned aerial vehicle at any time solely for the purpose of locating feral hogs. However, no person may take or attempt to take feral hogs from a uav now i'm glad they said from a uav because if they said with then that would have been a problem and the reason that they're specifically saying is from a uav is because again they want to not make these changes affect the current rules that helicopters have to fly by as they are pursuing hogs at night which is they can't do it right they can only do that during the day but they are allowing us to be able to use drones to find them so that way we can go after them on the ground or in our buggies or however it is that we do that. Again, they're just trying to keep the rules the same for helicopters, but allow us clarification, throwing in some new wording to give us the ability to do this. So I'm really happy about this. The rest of this goes on basically the fact that they added in line E. All the other lines have to get pushed further back so e is now f f is now g and g is now h and another point that i need to bring up in here is this request for public comments comments on the proposed rules may be submitted to the assistant commander stormy king who was the guy that gave this presentation he works for the texas parks and wildlife department at this address and there's his email address or via the department website at and it gives the website for it now this guy stormy king i have already been emailing him and he has been very receptive he's been very fast his answers have been clear he's been easy to work with um so i'm really glad that stormy gave this presentation it sounds like he's on board with us being able to do this trying to help us out and is on our side so stormy thank you very much for playing your part of getting this change done I really appreciate it, and I know that so many other hog hunters do as well. So, Stormy, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, so the follow-up is always going to be, well, what's next? Again, there's a process to this, and we have to let it work its course. 
So far, it sounds like everybody is on board with this getting done. I've never heard anybody bring up any reasons why they're against it for this specific use. Yeah, I understand. I wish that we could just get rid of the whole permitting process, but that's federal law. Yeah, I wish that um, we could just simply get rid of the time that was specified instead of adding extra verbiage that could be reinterpreted later. But at the same time, I see exactly what they're trying to do, trying to keep helicopters to have the exact same rules that they're already in and not change those while uh, giving us the freedom to be able to do this. For follow-up, I do know that this is going to get published in the Texas Register, which is how the administrative code for Texas publishes the things that have been going on with proposed changes and it should have in there how the public could make comments or bring things up that they feel they want heard before this actually goes back to the commission to have the proposed rule changes again these only today were proposed to have those changes implemented and then later turned into the rules that we actually follow it sounds like this should hit on the next meeting as being ruled on for the commission to say, yes, I agree, let's move forward and turn that into Texas law, or no, I don't agree, let's, let's do something else, right? I've been told, it hasn't been published yet, but I've been told that that next meeting is going to be in November, Oh my gosh, I'm so happy because the previous one was in May. And I don't know if that's if there was this huge delay because COVID happened. I, I, I don't know, but the next one's in November. I hope this is on the docket to have a ruling. And obviously, you know where I stand on this. So guys, I'm going to keep you up to date. We're going to have this happen. I just hope that it goes really smooth. I'm going to let you know how this goes along. Y'all keep being awesome. Love you. Take care. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.